Who are the two witnesses in Revelation 11, 3, 12? The two witnesses of Revelation 11 are definitely Moses, or rather Enoch and Elijah. Moses could not be one of the two because he saw corruption many, many centuries before Christ was born. And his body was in corruption at the very time that he appeared with Christ on the Mount of Transfiguration. So he could not be the one. He has already died. These two men, whoever they are, have never died. For we read in verse 7 of this 11th chapter Revelation, that when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottom of the pit shall make war on them, and shall overcome them, and shall kill them. And since we read in Hebrews 9.27, it is appointed unto men once to die, and after this the judgment, then we have to conclude that these two men have never died. And there are only two men in all the Bible that have not died, and that were taken to heaven without dying in their particular span of life on earth. They are Enoch and Elijah. In the fifth chapter of the book of Genesis, we read that Enoch walked with God 300 years and was not because God took him. That's referred to in the 11th chapter of Hebrews as Enoch was translated by faith. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Now, how do we get faith? According to Romans 10, 17, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if Enoch had faith, for a translation, he had to have the word of God concerning that translation in order to have faith to go through it. So we just have to conclude that God told Enoch about his translation, made it very clear to him concerning the future, that he would be taken without dying to live in heaven for a period and will come back on the earth to die as one of the two witnesses. The case of Elijah is parallel to that of Enoch. Both were prophets of judgment. Both were taken to heaven. Elijah in a chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof, according to 2 Kings 2. Both of them were taken to heaven without dying. And since it is appointed unto all men to die once, they must come back and die again. Whoever they are, they are two men who were seen in heaven by Zechariah 500 years before John saw them in his revelation, or as recorded in the book of Revelation. Zechariah 4, verses 11 to 14, gives us a picture of the same two men. And uh, they are explained by an angel to Zechariah this way. These are the two anointed ones which stand before the God of all the earth. The two anointed ones. So there have been two anointed ones which were translated without death. And they could be none other but Enoch and Elijah because of the only two men that were ever taken to heaven without seeing death, to live in heaven until they come back and die at the hands of the Antichrist. We have in the fourth chapter of the book of Malachi, verses 5 and 6, a definite statement that Elijah will be one of the two witnesses. For we read there, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. He shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the just, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Thus it is clear that Elijah will be one of the two, and since Enoch uh, is the only other one that was translated, and since he was a prophet of judgment, and since we know he must die, we just have to conclude that he is the other one of the two witnesses. So I think we can say with all authority that Enoch and Elijah are the two men symbolized by the two candlesticks and the two olive trees in Revelation 11, 4, standing before the God of all the earth. And according to this revelation, they shall die at the hands of the Antichrist, and their dead bodies shall remain in the streets of Jerusalem for three days and a half. Then the Spirit of life from God will enter into them. They will stand on their feet. Fear will fall on their enemies. And then the voice from heaven will say, Come up hither, and they will ascend to heaven in the sight of their enemies. I think the subject is very simple. I think it's very clearly answered in the scriptures when you look at it from that standpoint.